Uh, all right, so I just um, reviewed uh, the previous few minutes. I check it was recording and I hadn't just left everything. So it occurs to me that I've missed something in the reasoning. The thing is, what are we trying to achieve here? What we're trying to achieve is we want to learn W to optimize the output. Uh, what does it mean, optimize the output? It means we're going to minimize our loss function. Now, we're not including the loss function here, but normally there's going to be a loss function. And what we want to do is we want to minimize the loss. So how do we minimize the loss? Well, we calculate, which is the back prop, how does the loss change when we change the weights? All right. And then if we know how the loss changes when we change the weights, we can change the weights to make the loss go down. All right. So mathematically, how the loss changes when we change the weights is the partial derivative. How the, weights, how the loss changes when we change the weights is the partial derivative of the loss with respect to the weights. All right, so that's why we want this partial derivative math derivative thing. All right, now in our case, we don't have a loss layer here because I'm simplifying, uh, but we would have a loss layer. And um, it just adds a little bit more maths to the end, uh, which we're not going to consider here. So what we have here is we don't have the partial derivative of the loss with respect to the weights. Uh, we have the partial derivative of the output of, these, of this network with respect to the weights. Then in practice, we would tag on our loss layer, uh, which would calculate the loss, and that would um, provide the kind of partial derivatives at the end of this network, which we would then back propagate through. And everything happens by chain rule. So chain rule lets us take something that's really complicated and change it into lots of little tiny easy things. Uh, so uh, we're going to see chain rule within this network, and then the chain rule with the loss layer just adds on a little bit more to the end. Right, so when we're saying, oh, we want grad output or grad W, basically these are going to be used in a natural network. We use the grad output. It it's going to tell us how the loss changes when the output from this layer changes. And the grad W tells us how the loss changes when the, when the weights change. And then we use that information to know how to update W so that the loss goes down. And we just do that over and over and over again. OK, so I think that was important.